So my name is Ian Kerr. I'm the CEO of Ocean Alliance. Our website is whale.org. We've been working in the field of developing benign research techniques to help uh, study marine mammals, whales, dolphins. In the early days, you'd say they'd have to kill a whale to learn about them. Now we try to find alternate ways to sort of learn about whales. What's actually fascinating is stress is a huge controlling factor in mammalian lives. It affects everything. If you've ever had a dry mouth when you got scared, that's because your body is shutting down your digestive system. So you'd think we'd know a lot about stress in whales, but the reality is we know almost nothing. And in most cases where we have collected information on whale stress, it's possible that the collection devices, whether it be collecting blood, whether it be bringing a small boat alongside to collect um, exhaled breath, condensate, or the whale blow, the actual act of collecting the data may actually alter the data. So Ocean Alliance has been looking here, and we've got uh, this little machine we've developed working with Olin College of Engineering, and the students affectionately call it Snotbot. But the idea is that this machine will fly into the whale blow, it will collect the whale blow. The whale blow will not only have stress hormones in the blow, but it will also have viruses and bacteria. So potentially if the stress hormones are high, the bacteria and the viruses are high, they may all be related. And that's often what happens, you know, you've probably heard that when you're stressed out, you're more susceptible to, you know, having a cold last longer or even catching diseases. So there's a lot of different drones out there. Some of them have negative connotations. What's fun about this one is um, it's fairly small. And I guess the key thing about it too is it has to be waterproof because we're actually flying out over the ocean. We're currently working on the permitting because you do anything with whales. Um, it's very well regulated, but it's a bit of fun. And I can sort of plug it in for you here. One of the problems we have is when this black machine flies away from us, um, you can't actually see it. So we've got these lights on it and uh, trying to be a little nautical here, but we've obviously got starboard and port and then the white on the front and then the colors on the back. And it's amazing when you're a long way away, you know what I mean? All you can see are these colors. You can't see the machine. We're working on a different collection of devices with different mounting brackets to actually collect the um, EBC or, or the whale snot. And, um, and it's exciting, and, and who knows? I mean, the next generation of this type of machine might actually be tracking whales at night. Who knows what happens at night? You know, there's very little um, done visually at night. So uh, I like to think that the whales are sort of sitting there having a martini, smoking a cigar at night. And until we get these machines out there, we won't know. So it's very exciting. It's still in its early stages, but um, it's great when you can have you know, a relatively simple tool just help you with that day-to-day -day ground or grind of collecting data.